Hello, everyone, and welcome to another night of Overwatch. My name's Amanda Commanda, and I'm here with Catherine Socks. How are you doing today, Socks? I'm doing fantastic, Commanda. It's I'm really excited to to be here, especially for the season opener of Nace for our Overwatch team. I'm really, really excited to see these boys play. For sure, me too. Last uh, two weeks have been a lot of fun, so hopefully we'll see a lot more that awesome gameplay again. Uh, and today they are against Cody College. What do you think is going to happen today, Sox? Well, the guys have been practicing pretty hard, but I'm always a sucker for the enemy team coming in, the enemy school coming in and kind of sweeping their legs out from under them, kind of bruise their egos just, just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. So I have high hopes that it's going to be some intense back and forth and it's going to be close games. I hope so too. The guys have been on a 2-0 win streak right now for each game that they played um, in the um, UCEA tournament. So hopefully we'll see some more awesome sweeps like that in the NACE tournament. It's going to be a killer time and I cannot wait. So today we have our sponsors, uh, St. Clair College, St. Clair SRC, St. Clair Alumni, the Zeckelman School of Business and Technology, and PC Outlet and Tim Hortons. Now would be a great time to have a double-double as well. Just have oh, a yeah. coffee on standby while we watch. Well, we know that you like coffee, as uh, your Twitch name is Socks with a Coffee Cup. It's very true. It's a little bit of a crippling addiction, but I... Oh, uh... okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're college students. We depend on coffee. That we do. Looks like our first map is going to be Oasis. And Oasis is a very beautiful map, in my opinion, Commanda. Uh, oh, yeah. A little bit tricky to play on. Uh, you have to, there's a lot of high ground that the teams can take, and a lot of just sort of careful positioning you need to do, especially if you don't want to get caught out by a sniper of some kind. For sure. But it is an absolutely gorgeous map. I have to say it's one of my favorites out of all the Overwatch maps. For sure. Looks like the boys are ready to go versus Cody College. We've got almost full dive from St. Clair, where Cody is rocking the Soldier 76 and Ash combo, which should be an interesting play. Ooh, and St. Clair College chooses to go with Sombra and Reaper. A little bit of a brawly composition, and we see they've already kind of taken position on this high ground, removing the place where Ash usually likes to set up and look down and, and shoot on uh, the enemy team. I'm surprised Bailable's not on the Ash. We see him kind of play that hero quite often. But there's sure. no time to talk about that. We have the Prince Wada on the Winston trying to kill that Mercy. Looks like he got the Elim. St. Clair is just murdering the other team right now uh, with three kills already mm -hmm. down. An adulterous guy attempted to escape, but Yustin was there to just clean it up. And we have, ooh, Ghosty goes down. Baby Diva gets hacked, and we don't see her anymore. Goodbye, Baby Diva. We that looks like it's going to be a team wipe for St. Clair. And they see them setting back up on that high ground, maintaining that high ground control, seeing where the enemy team is going to come from is very important and very pivotal in being able to make uh, accurate, concise dives. For sure. We see a lot of these uh, brawly dive comps recently, especially in Overwatch League. Oh, and it looks like the tanks are diving onto the point. Prince Wada taking out one of their tanks and then Yustin cleaning up with damage on Soldier. St. Clair looking incredibly dominant in this situation. Apostle running in, uh, getting some kills as Lucio there. You know, he's very well versed in uh, healers and he owned his brig on the first game for the UCEA tournament. It's true. He started out as a, a tank main and if you watch his streams, you see him play Reinhardt whenever he can. And seeing him on a different role on support is, is really quite interesting. For sure. Looks like uh, Demi2K is trying to get a snipe here early into the game. They lose their Arissa. And Strider gets another kill onto Unaltered Sky. A beautiful EMP from Strider, which allows his team to sort of clean up and dam like just put enough damage in without the Cody College being able to put up much of a fight. Yeah. I have final Wait. Elim on the Baby Diva there. <laughs> oh, 
She tried. She tried to get out when she could, but she just wasn't able to. They need to touch here to be able to have a chance of winning back this point, but it looks like Seymour is going to stop them with a Diva Bomb and Bailable with a Death Death Blossom, and it looks like that's the end of round one. Oh, a Death Blossom Diva Bomb combination is lethal because there's nowhere you can run. Oh, for uh, sure. You're either running into a Reaper doing Beyblade damage or you're running towards a nuclear bomb. Exactly, especially with this map being so open. Uh, it's it's very difficult to escape that uh, in that in that room there where it's just such a long room you can't really hide uh, if you're stuck in there. So no, and without a sort of uh, shield for them to get behind, even like a Winston bubble or a Reinhardt shield to sort of block either damage, you're you're kind of stuck in a position where you're taking more damage than you can you can heal. Uh, I like the Mercy Moira combination. They're definitely not gonna be um i stressed for healing you're always gonna have somebody who can pump out healing at an insane rate but it, we can only hope that the dps for coding college can also keep up and put in enough damage output that their healers won't be too stressed for sure looks like prince wad is diving in right away and strider gets two kills on on Alter sky and silken stars strider going in to clean up on adonis as well and well, then once again you. Oh, oh that was nasty! Got him with the melee kill. Mm. St. Clair setting up high ground once again. They really do like the high ground control, and it's such a good position for them where they can see where the enemy team is coming from, and they can decide when they want to drop, and where they can drop, and they have a lot of control over the map when they do it this way. Ooh, and Bailable is now on the Sombra. Oh, and the fight hasn't even begun, but St. Clair shut it down. This is their point, and they're making sure that it's known. A very dominant performance from St. Clair, especially with a team kill very early into the game. They're looking dominant with a 34% capture onto the point. It looks like their alt charge is already getting close to almost having... Five alts there, uh, with the Lucio alt coming up to 50, so they're they're gonna be at six alts very soon. Uh, and uh, Cotty College looks like they have just one alt over 50, but Bailable going in for some hacks, trying to shut down Ghosty before uh, the fight starts. And Prince Wada and Seymour uh, shut down their tanks and Another yeah, the entire team. over, yeah, yeah. Before it begins, just for a moment, you blink and you miss it. For sure. Talking about alt charge as well, when you look at the St. Clair College alt charge compared to the Cotty College alt charge, you can see that uh, both supports on St. Clair are very close to having ultimates themselves, where Mercy and Moira, Adonis and Unadulterated Sky are only halfway. Yeah. Huge EMP from Bailable here. He's trying to clean up. Oh my goodness. And it looks like the team cleans up again before the fight can even get to the point. Another kill inside of St. Clair. The way everybody on St. Clair, the way they work together, the way they all dive in and clean up all the the stragglers, uh, or how it is. And it looks like it, game it, one is finished. Game one goes to St. Clair. And it, it goes to show that how well these guys work together and how how their communication works, where they are able to just clean up. Uh, all the all the characters who are low health, especially after such a massive EMP from Bailable. Looks like Strider and Bailable both had to turn a lot of Oh, both the, the way the fact that Strider and Bailable can both switch and play the same character and get insane value out of them to me is just mind blowing. The flexibility of the two, uh, both of the deep, on DPS, is just wonderful. I'm convinced that there are no no uh, no DPS characters that the two of them can't play. Exactly. Uh, last week when we saw Strider on Farah, it was it believe it or not the first time he touched that character in their really? preseason game. Yeah, and he just had another dominant performance. Wow! It, the game comes naturally to him. It, it really shows. He does, and I think Sinclair can do amazing things together. Oh, for sure. They're um, they're close friends, so they, they really get along well, and it shows in their gameplay, uh, the cooperation and the teamwork that they have. Oh, definitely. Alrighty. 
So I think we're going to take a quick break here and we'll be back in a few moments with some more Overwatch.